February 27th, 2023. 19 hours, 4 minutes, 19 seconds. Akron Police and Fire, Tech 243. Uh, yes, I'd like to have a police officer come out to my house. For what? Um, well, for, for a long time, my sons have been being hassled, and they've come out here 50 million times. Well, I got something in the mail today that was, was supposed to leak came from the police department. So I opened it, and it was a letter about poison control. And then the next page had a puzzle, and they said, by the time you figure this out, you will have uh, inhaled um, some poisonous stuff. And... I don't know what to do with it. They told me anytime we got a package or something, but this isn't a package, it's a letter. And it obviously didn't come from you because it was mailed from uh, in Illinois. And what did it say? It said that they had a puzzle on it. And they said that by the time we figured out the puzzle, well, hold on a second, let me get back up and I'll read it. If you're calling 911, you might want to get He says, by the time you figure this out, I imagine you will have inhaled and tactically absorbed enough of the powder in this envelope to begin the process. Hint, it's a slow-acting compound. I want you to suffer. Oh, my God. And when did you receive it? We just got it today. What's your address, ma'am? Pardon? What's your address? 339 Lloyd Street. And what's your name? Sally Wilkins. It was mailed to my son. He doesn't even know I got it yet because he would go off. What's your phone number? And the address on the envelope, the return address, is Akron Police Non-Emergency Public Information Request Division. Okay, give me one moment. Okay, give me one moment. Let's try some of this down. Do you know who may have sent it? We have an idea, but we don't know if the name is real, because this is an internet feud. As far as I know, the guy's name is Marty, um, what's the last name? Um, I can't remember his last name. I can't remember his last name. The, uh, his uh, name on YouTube is Music Biz Marty. Okay. Oh, Jesus, you don't know that. That's oh, Marty him, though. B-I-E-G-L-E-R. Alright, we have that in and we'll get somebody out there too, okay? Okay, thank you. Yep. And John, make sure they got gloves and masks. <laughs> I will. Alright, thank you. You're welcome. domestic terrorism whoever did this one I don't I don't see this one going away not at all at this point we all know it's fake because no police would be like figure out this puzzle blah 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 Look at all of that. And for what? What a waste of resources, really. What was this for? I 
Is it funny? I don't, I don't think it's funny. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Ones that were involved, right? Yeah. Okay. The, the, the letter was hey, 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 hey. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. He slept through all this? No. All right. So his address was address two chance? Pardon? His address two chance? Yes. We'll grab his info then just for that. Okay. Was there a return address on it? Yeah, it's at the police department. Oh my god. Who said someone, did someone call you prior to as well? No. Oh. Uh, I've been getting... It's the usual stuff. My phone has been going off. For years? Yeah. No, today, just today. Well, today I, had, I, I had 19 calls in one hour. Really? Yeah. Is it all blocked numbers, or are they... They get those numbers that they can pull out and use them. So it doesn't do any good. Yeah. We're going off all, all quite 19 a while. Them, all yeah. 19 yeah. of them are different phone numbers, too. Yeah. So... Yeah, there, there was dates stamps. So if I would look first, I wouldn't have called you guys without even opening it. So there was dates for mail stamps from
He's sleeping through this whole thing, of course. And she's not waking him up because she doesn't want to hear it. today, 19 different numbers in an hour, the address chance, APD was return address, then you're the one that opened it, yeah. so, okay, you guys called us. Did you talk to anybody, did you answer the phone, any of those 19 calls? No. 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 Any voicemails left, anything like that? Well, I get voicemails left all the time, too, they're nasty. Yeah. They're nasty. I answered you last night, and I didn't say anything, they just hung up. Why do they, why do they call you? Right. They're my phone numbers and they dox me. Yeah. Oh, okay. And uh, he doesn't answer his. Okay. So they call me. Trying to get to me, and that boy, they do. Okay. Um, and there are two uh, messages. Just say, hey, Sally, I hate to remind you of the chance once again for the third time. Showing his penis to an underage girl. How are you so bad at parenting? Like, how bad is. How are you? You're just bad at, at it. And then tell me to uh, shut my internet off. Maybe you should pay attention to that, though, Sally, instead of denying it. It's never ending. It's been like, what, five years? This has been going on? Six. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. Six years. Ever since you moved here. Oh, my God. This is your fault. <laughs> We don't know what to do about it. I mean, we don't know the real names. Yeah. So, well, I, Marty, um, Marty, uh, they should be good. And something about Wheeling, Illinois. That's all I know. Illinois. His dad, uh, uh, was a people's doctor. <laughs> Random, but all right. Yeah. He's on uh, YouTube as, uh, it's his morning. Okay. Yeah, my, my kid does get on there and he gets mad and screams and yells and things he shouldn't be saying, but they're, they're aggravating him into doing it. Yeah. It seems like that's the way of the world nowadays. So. I mean, but... They say he's a pedophile, but he has his back. He doesn't go out the door. He doesn't go anywhere. Yeah. You don't have to. I, I know it's all the truth because I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You're so ignorant, Sally. What's your address here? 339 Street. 339 They say he's, 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 he's showing his penis to underage girls, but I haven't brought any phone calls or complaints. You know, from the actual parents. Yeah. So. Oh my God. They have everybody in the room believing he's a pedophile. I said to my son, you know, if, it, if it's not in writing, you know, from a doctor here, you know, he was diagnosed that. <laughs> He's not dead, you know. And they're telling they're like telling you that over your phone. Yeah. Oh yeah, you told me about the voice. Yeah, the phone, yeah. Yeah, diagnosed yeah. as a pedo. Horrible nasty voicemail. I mean I've been called a whore on a bitch. Alright, it's always a fun day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I think that stuff wasn't bad. No, it was yeah, it, it wasn't didn't test for anything, so you know, I, I'm sorry to go. Oh, I don't have to come out here. No, I mean, we got to make sure. So, I mean, I'd rather safe than sorry. I wouldn't put it past those guys. Yeah, I mean, the world, you know, people are crazy. You never know who's going to do what nowadays. Yeah. So. Right, regret? <laughs> of course. 
right. I mean, I think that's everything. Unless there's anything else you guys need to add or just got the letter, dressed, dressed to him. Obviously, he came here. You opened it. Had the, the note and the powder and all that. And so. I tell you what, as soon as I read the powder, I went in, I put the fat wood in a bag, and I went and washed my hands. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> All right. That was the only thing that she touched me was my hand. Okay. Well, I called my lady. Yeah, she seemed like she was interested in what was oh, going on. I don't know. I don't know if DB's here. I'll be right back. Thank you. Okay, guys, that's it. I'm sorry I talked through the thing, but that's what I do. And I want to hear from you guys in the comments. That has got to be an act of domestic terrorism. I'm sure FBI will get involved. I don't know. But I don't see it going away. I think this is a huge waste of resources. And... I think somebody has to pay for this. I really do, because this is way too much. And for what? For what? What is the point? And another thing, I know Sally has raised chance, and I know she's bad at it, but I don't see the point of harassing them constantly and making their life a living hell for the things that chance does and I know that they're ignorant and I know they stick up for him they wouldn't even wake him up during this whole thing he didn't even wake up on his own can you believe that yeah but I just don't see harassing Sally and Ed to the extreme that they do I think that's sad and this is just horrible. This is horrible to innocent people and the people that come out thinking they're going to help and do something. And it's all just trash, just a joke, funny. Ha ha. I didn't find it funny at all. Tell me what you think. I love you. See you later.